All right, so you've been off smoking for maybe a year, maybe longer. Maybe it's five years or 10 years or, or 20 years or 30 years. You're at a point where you don't think about smoking anymore. You almost don't remember smoking. Oh yeah, you know you did it, but it is so far in your past. You look at people smoking now and think, what in the world are they doing? That looks crazy. It smells terrible. You hate it. You are so far removed from smoking. You're, you're done and through and it's decades now. How long can it take you to become re-addicted to nicotine? That's a trick question because you never became unaddicted to nicotine. Yes, you're at a point that you don't think about it, you don't want it, you hate it, you may not remember much of it, but that doesn't mean you're unaddicted. That just means that you've moved on. Not smoking has become a habit to you, but your brain has been altered. The question should not have been, how long does it take to get re-addicted? The question should have been, how long can it take you to relapse? Well, that's a question that can be answered. It's how long does it take you to get a cigarette in your mouth, get a match or a lighter in your hand, ignite the match or lighter, put it to the cigarette and inhale. It can happen in that kind of an instant, immediately. No matter how long you've been off, no matter how distant you are from smoking, both in, in thought and in processes, you're, you're away from smoking, you can lose that quit in an instant if you take a cigarette or if you administer nicotine from any other device or product that delivers nicotine. All you need to do to never, again, relapse and to go on to this freedom that you had attained. It's still just a matter of making and sticking to a personal commitment to never take another puff.